Hey y'all, this is Linda with Linda Jane's Kitchen. Yes, I'm back into my happy place. Today, I will be making an old fashioned bread pudding. Yes, back in the day when we was young and little, my mother used to make these all the time and sometimes she would make the chocolate uh, bread pudding and vanilla bread pudding, but today we are making the vanilla bread pudding. So get ready, let's go into the kitchen and let's get this goodness to baking, okay? See you back there in just a minute. <laughs> okay, one of the ingredients are biscuits. Now, I made these biscuits up last night, and I used the Jiffy, the Jiffy brand, the buttermilk biscuit mix. Now, if you use this, make sure you have the, you see the red symbol on the box, but you don't have to. You can use what, however you make your biscuits, you can use these, th those. But these are made up from last night. I'm going to use some uh, loaf bread and I got the ends, yes, and I'm going to cut these up and put them into the mixture. I'm going to use milk, sugar, yes, sugar, vanilla flavoring, vanilla flavor and cinnamon, some ground cinnamon. I'm going to use uh, butter and eggs. I'm going to use eggs. And I'm going to mix all this goodness up together and I'm going to show you how she made this bread pudding so tasty. Of course, I'm going to use this, my dish here and put it in there. Now you can use um, a smaller uh, dish or either aluminum pan or whatever, but I chose to use this. So let's get ready and mix all this goodness together. All right. Okay, I'm going to do my liquid mixture first. I have my milk, and y'all know I eyeball my uh, some of my recipes, most of my recipes, but I got some milk in this cup, and I'm going to pour um, a stick of butter in here. I'm not measuring it, I just eyeball, but I will put what I put into the liquid down in my description i got some liquid butter in here and it was one stick i'm going to put in some vanilla flavor flavoring in here just eyeballing it put that in here and i'm going to pour my sugar in here and just eyeballing it and I'm going to taste it when I finish but I'm going to put my eggs last because I don't want to taste it and the eggs is in here but when I eat raw eggs I don't want to get sick so I'm going to taste this before I put the eggs in stir it real good see if I need any more vanilla flavoring, cinnamon, sugar, or what. So let me taste it. Mmm, boy. I don't believe I need to put anything. But I am going to put my two eggs, because it tastes good. And when I get through stirring this, yeah, I wasted some. That's okay. When I get to mixing through mixing this up, I'm going to put it in my microwave and let it get a little heated. And I'll be back. Now I'm going to crumble my biscuits that I made last night. Crumble them up. Now, the box that I use makes about six to seven biscuits. But if you want a larger bread pudding, you can use more bread. I think I made about seven. Okay. 
Now I'm going to put my loaf bread in. I'm going to cut up my loaf bread into pieces. You can use smaller chunks if you want to. Cubes. I'm going to put this in my bowl. Now I'm going to mix my loaf bread and biscuits together before I pour the mixture in. Now, before you pour your mixture in, your liquid in, to the dish, I'm going to put the nonstick spray in it. And you're going to pour, I put your breadcrumbs into the dish. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour my liquid over the bread. Now, if you want more bread or larger pudding, you can do so. So I heated my milk, my egg, sugar, cinnamon, flavoring together. I'm going to pour this mixture over my bread. And if you feel like you need more mixture, mixture, you can make up the same content. Put it in. And we're gonna let it sit on the counter for a while before we put it into the oven and let it let this um, liquid soak into the bread. Another thing what I'm going to do before I put it into the oven, I'm going to mix up some brown sugar and butter and sprinkle or pour on top of this. Now this that's optional. You don't have to put that on there. It is optional, but I'm going to put it on there. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the oven on 350. And I'm going to keep check on it. Um after 15 minutes I'm going to check on it because we're cooking the egg that's in here. The bread is already done, but we're cooking the egg that's in here. So after 15 minutes, I'm going to check on it and see if it's done. I'm going to stick a toothpick down in there to see if it's done. 
If not, I put it back in there and let it cook another 10 minutes. I don't, I just eyeball. I, it's not a time set, but I just eyeball. That's the way my mom, my mom did. She just eyeballed and she just kept checking into the oven to see if it's brown on top. But just like I said, this is optional. I'm going to put brown sugar and butter on top and let it cook. But if you feel that you need more liquid into your bread after this liquid soaks up the bread, if you feel that you need more, just, just mix up the same stuff that you did, the same liquid that you did before and just pour it over there. All right, let you see it when it come out of the oven. Now here's where I'm pouring a little brown sugar and butter on top of it. This is optional, you don't have to. Now, let me give you um, something I did that I should, shouldn't have done. That's about the egg. Now, before you put your egg into the mixture, make sure you beat it. Beat it up uh, before you put it into your mixture. Now, I had a pr little problem with that. It wouldn't combine, so I had to beat, 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 beat it. I did that off camera. So this is the brown sugar and butter on top. Just like I said, you don't have to put it on there, but I did it for the taste. <laughs> that flavor is good, but you don't have to. It's good anyway. But this is the, the old-fashioned bread pudding that my mom made when we was little, and it was good. So I'm going to go and leave you on that. I hope you try it. And just always know that God loves you. God loves you. And so do I. Y'all have a blessed day.